Oh my goodness. Hey, Harry. You had to get in the car. Sometimes you have to. You notice the first day I sat right here, and then that's what he did. But look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Way to go. I'm so happy you made it. He's a good boy, and then walk away. Right, and that way the last thing he heard was the command place. He goes, all right, I get it, I'm gonna hang here. And now you're allowing this time to go by where he's just observing the beach and he isn't spinning around and freaking out. Now here's a good test. There's a biker coming. He did great, didn't react. Good boy. I know, I love you, buddy. I know, are you happy? You like being at the beach, I know it. I know, you're such a good boy. I love you, buddy. We're gonna walk down here, and that way you don't have to worry about tripping. It's a little bit of a uh, thing. You can let go of the leash. We're going on the beach. He's such a goof. Come on, Harry. I know we're at the beach and you want to swim. Now I'm not even using the e-collar, right? Now he's just doing it, because we got him to understand what he should be doing. Now these dogs don't even matter. Now we can drop the leash. Good job, buddy. Hey, buddy. I know, we're at the beach, you love the beach, I love the beach. You a kangaroo? 
Look at him, he's hopping around like a freaking kangaroo. Are you a kangaroo? Look at you. Come on, Harry. The truth is, if you can come out to the beach like this more often, the dog's gonna get those spinnies out of the way. Because if you can drop the leash and just walk, he's gonna follow you. And you can kind of have all this free space to just let him wanna stay by your side. Job. Make a left U turn. Make a right U turn. Look at this. doing it down with a recall right now. She's all the way back there. Harry, come! Little things like that get other dogs to react. Oh. I didn't even see that they had a dog, but that German Shepherd saw your dog taking off and then wanted to hurt it and came running. Oh, okay. So one thing that you need to do oh. is be 100% more aware of your surroundings. As I'm here, I'm constantly looking yeah. at all of the things. That's why every time a dog comes, I tell you to sit. I've noticed a lot of what you do, staring at the dog, You've got your long hair. I'm balding, so I don't have anything blocking my view. You've got this long hair that blocks your face. So when you're looking at your dog half the time, petting him, you also need to do this. Right. And then pet him. Because if you don't look around, by the time someone gets too close to you, you might have a reaction, and then it's too late. Harry. Uh, Harry made it to the beach today. He had a blast. Nothing better than getting out, coming down to the Huntington Dog Beach. Oh, Harry. I love you, buddy. Look at him, he's just in heaven right now. I love my life. Look at that technique. <laughs> what a little lady. Hello there. Hello there, beautiful. You know where you are. My little thing. Here. <laughs> you are so cute. Look at you. Guys, hey, Redland. Awesome. We're going down to the beach today. You heard it right. We're going down to the beach. I'm at the dog beach all day. Gotta love Huntington Dog Beach. Look at you. Way to go. So much fun meeting everyone at the dog beach. You gotta be active. There's so many dogs here. There's so many bikes, scooters, strollers, surfers, kids. Squirrels, all sorts of stuff. Really helps the dog work through the real life. Come on, little things. Best part about being active and responsible is you gotta pick up your boot. Ow. Ow. Best part about the Huntington Dog Beach is they got poop bags everywhere that you might need it. Press the button and get these dogs to come back to you. Button, 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 tell the dogs to come. Look what Red did. Pull a little bit with the leash. So reel it in like the fish, right? And now the dog comes to you. This is what you guys need to do, is keep the dogs with you. If the dogs are 15 feet away, sniffing, you're not doing your job, right? Stuck at the end of the leash, that's when you need to 
press the button. Good. See how yours is looking at you? Press the button. So we're going to take about 10 more steps and then we're going to turn back this way and kind of do some circles. Button, button. Good. to keep moving. If you don't move when your dog gets stuck or confused, they will stay stuck and confused and you ultimately are just staring at your dog waiting for them to offer up a new behavior. But our job as dog owners is to be active and responsible to help provide the clarity the dog needs to understand what we're trying to communicate to it. Coming to the dog beach is one of the best things that you can do for your dog because there's so many distractions. It allows you to control the environment and the experience based on what you want to do with your dog. It's so nice coming to this beach and doing dog training. One of the reasons I love the Huntington Dog Beach is because you can see when the dogs are running up towards you and then you can prevent and anticipate what to do. What an awesome dog. When you see another dog about to approach off of a leash, put your dog in a sit, get them under control, and this way you can prevent a reaction by getting your dog to be calm. We're almost there. We've survived the second dog beach lesson, getting these two rescue dogs out of the house, out into the real world, checking out what everyone else is up to. Good job. And this is also really good for you guys. The more experiences your dog gets, the less reactive they will be. Almost up, be careful up that hill. So apparently weekdays from 2 to 3, it's wide open at the Huntington Dog Beach. So feel free to uh, make this your time to come if you're worried about parking because there are tons of spaces. Okay, that wraps two epic lessons at the Huntington Dog Beach today. Headed to Tustin Ranch to train another dog. What a great day so far. It's been a blast training these dogs, working through a lot of their issues getting them out of the house, getting them out in public. Oh, I can see Goldie on place. That's what I like seeing. Yeah, I don't see it. Sorry, I got stuck in some traffic. Look at you. A bit oh of battle, God. but she's... Hey, yeah. hey. Like Emily there. Like, your dog does this, like, Chinese squinty-eye thing and yeah. then smiles. I can't do it. I can't do it. If I see him, I gotta give him love. Oh my goodness. Hey, Goldie. Show the direction and then seal it in like a stamp almost. Place. Press the button. Place. Go back and then you can walk less. It's here. We can go. Good job, Goldie. Thanks. Alright, you try it out there. Alright, Ayo, now you see. I'll see how you do. I think he'll be able to do it. <laughs> uh, we'll see. No, I keep going. demonstrate again ultimately how you're going to use this and the e-collar. I'm at the end, your dog's pulling me, right? Completely wants to go under the table, do whatever. This is the direction. Find the number that gets your dog to start focusing on you. Come. See how the dog's moving towards me? I'm just it's one. Place. Now with the dog on place, I know what it's gonna do, which is try to get off or do whatever, press the button. Button, button. Dog on place now and understands what's going on. Place, button, 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 button. Good job, good job, thank you. Button, 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 place. Button, button, button. Dog is there. 
so it's constantly keeping the dog's attention. So I want you to walk the dog over to place using the leash. I'm going to use the e-collar button to just walk the dog over. Place. Good. Good. The second I saw you showing the dog what direction to go, but you can even feel the tension yeah. in your dog's body. Mm -hmm. My dog Harry that I'm training, I had to have a heart to heart with her because she told me her dog's one year old. One year old, that's it. Dog has more knots in its back than my 10 year old dog. Uh -huh. Because it lives in a small house and it's constantly stressed. Your dog has the same knots. It's that pent up stress and anxiety, and I don't know where to go with myself. So even as the dog's on place, typically when you like rub right here on their belly, they'll like roll on their back and give you love and kind of submit. Your dog's fighting to submit right now. He's going, no, I can't, I can't, I can't roll on my side. That would mean I give up, I gave in. When the dog's on place though, all day long, give the affection, take it away. But do you think she's like, I know. I see you wagon. You can't help yourself. You can't help yourself. Yeah, she's a triple. I love you. You're gonna be good till tomorrow. Are you gonna be good? Yeah. But now, if you notice, she's starting to calm down a little bit more. Might have taken like 30, 40 minutes of keeping her on place, but now her head's down. I wanna leave this as kind of the last thing. When a dog is resting its head, that's when they're really at ease. Some of my dogs that I train, when I put them on place, I can tell them place again and they'll drop and put their head on the thing. Like, all right, I'm resting. Your dog is at a zero right now. If you're watching TV and your dog's like this, that's perfect. Ultimately, you should be able to give the dog affection and it shouldn't even lift its head. So that wraps another great lesson with Goldie and their owners. I'll tell you right now, the number one reason why dogs have problems is because they get too much affection at the wrong times. Guaranteed. Every single dog I train gets too much affection at the wrong times and has a bad behavior because of it.